Knott's fans, we need to talk about last night because that was a very, very shocking performance. And it epitomises what we're in at the minute. A very bad run of form. Since we lost to Montreal, we haven't really recaptured our winning form that got us through September, top of the league. Now, before the start of this season, I wasn't expecting this to be anywhere near the promotion battle. I wasn't even expecting this to be in the playoffs. I predict this to finish 10th. So it's quite a nice surprise. And he's done a great job, Kevin Nolan. And while some of us have big expectations, sometimes we need to overcome the big expectations. And he's already said we need to be overcome the expectations of being top of the league. But last night was bad. I said on Twitter it was really bad. Crew were not even a good side. Crew were a very average team. Not much happened in the game. Barely anything happened in the first half apart from that goal. It looked offside. But why do we why do we always appeal for the decision? Why can't we always play on? Defenders snuck round the back. You got it today at the rebound. 1-0. It changes in the second half. We've been three subs on and we think, this is it. This is where we change the game around. Stead offered nothing once again. Amiobi, he's not much else. And Grant lacks so much confidence at the minute. I want to go for our team last night. And why, why we had to make so many changes is ridiculous. Russ fits Simmons in goal. He was all right in the first few minutes. Played out from the back quickly. Thought it could be a change. Then he went back into Adam Collin mode. The back four didn't have the rest of games. Matt Tuttle looked a shadow of himself on Saturday. And on the other side, whilst Keith Lee Curtis gave him man of the match, Cole Dickinson looked a mess. He looked like himself from last season. Kept inviting pressure on. The two centre offs and another bad one. When Duffy's confident, once we lose the one game, Duffy's confidence goes just like that. And then Elliot Hewitt isn't a centre back. He might have played well there this season against Exeter and against Crawley, but he's not a centre back. Too many times he made it easy for Chris Porter. He just doesn't look, he didn't look comfortable. But why Sean Bresley was dropped? He's madness because he's won nearly every header this season and he didn't need to be rested. Into the midfield. Terry Orkridge had an absolute nightmare on the wing. He lost it every time he got it. He didn't take players on. Liam Walker, I don't think he's played enough games to show what he's capable of. Milsom and Yates had a completely different game to Saturday. We don't create enough going in the midfield. We needed Liam Noble. It's alright in home games, because we've got it home, but until away. But still having works having two central defender, centre defensive midfielders away. We didn't look out last night. The strikers, we were playing hoof ball to two men who were both on the six foot. It's obviously not their style. Alessandra looked lively first few minutes. We quickly fizzled out. Didn't help with our tactics. And Jonathan fought. Looked an absolute, just couldn't get in the game. Our tactics didn't suit him either. So I beg not, whilst we'd have this till January, get, we've got Liam Noble in, our creative influence in midfield. Get a striker in and get a backup centre half in. I don't expect us to be challenging for promotion, but if we start like this, we can't let it go to waste. We need to get back to winning ways on Saturday against Carlisle. Two leaves.